Her heights in athletics has not only covered the national platform, but also transpassed the international borders across the world. Janet Chepkoske Bouchene boasts of several medals she has won in both local and international competitions. Apart from this, her heroine is also evident back to the community where the former 800, champ 800 meters champion was born and raised, giving back to the society. Her development contributions to Kabersang village, where she hails, cannot be overlooked, especially in the Janet Chepkoske Shoe for Africa Primary School, Kapsumbeiwa, situated in Nandi County. We made our journey to the village and visited the school to get exactly the contribution of the athlete. When Janet was a student in this school, uh, she schooled here as a young girl and uh, before going to secondary school. And then after that one, she decided to, to blow back. So she came back to school uh, to serve the school and the, and the community. The school was formerly known as Kapsumbeiwa Primary School before it was changed to its current name on, on the year 2011. The new school was officially opened on December 23rd, 2011 by Teshu for Africa Foundation Director Toby Tansa as a way of rewarding the 31-year-old athlete for her consistency in athletics. She has done quite a number of things, sponsoring um, students. Uh, right now we have about five students uh, whom she's sponsoring. Uh, all the way secondary school fees from Form 1 to Form 4, uh, five of them right now. And then she has also rewarded the, those students who have done well. Uh, for example, last year she, she rewarded two students. One student took 30,000 shillings because she was a leader, uh, and then another one took 50,000 shillings. Three years down the line, people's teachers and parents have every reason to smile after the school underwent renovation. Uh, one thing for sure that I want to say is Janet is a role model, and uh, she has been here. She normally visits the school. Uh, several occasions and whenever she comes she makes sure that uh, she interacts with the pupils in the school uh, she has supported them in several ways she has provided shoes for them she has provided uh, costumes uh, for the field uh, she has provided uh, other materials uh, for the students which are required for learning the facility that you can see across here is through a um, uh, sponsorship uh, uh, together with the other well wishers. Yeah. Janet has provided the school with laptops, though lack of power has dwarfed the use of these facilities with the installation still in the process and expected to be complete anytime soon. Uh, the latest program which is going on is a supply of electricity to the school. We want to have uh, students having that class so that as they exit to for one, at least they are compliant to modern technology. Should this process be successful in the near future, then these people will draw all smiles on their faces as others across the country still await the government's project of laptops. She has organized to, to bring friends uh, within our country and international friends so that the school progresses. Janet's contribution is undoubtedly one with few examples to compare and not only the peoples and their teachers will attest to this but also the entire Kabirsan community. To them, she is more of a heroine. For KTS Sports, I am Janet Koech.